Hi, I'm Paula Swanson, and I'm going to show a brief demonstration of Replication Manager in a VMware environment to create VM-consistent replicas of NFS data stores residing on Solera NFS storage using Solera Snapshore replication technology. With this easy-to-use product, you can create replicas of your NFS data stores containing virtual machines to essentially have a bare metal recovery copy of those virtual machines. Before we get into the actual demo, let me touch on some of the key components within the Replication Manager console. For example, you have the ability to create user accounts with varying degrees of privileges. There are five different types of user accounts within Replication Manager. This enables others in the organization to create and manage their own replicas. Additionally, we have production and mount hosts. In this example, the production and mount hosts would be the ESX server or a Linux host. Schedules define the frequency by which you'll create your replicas. Application sets define the data that you'll replicate. And jobs define the policies by which you'll replicate your data. I'd also like to touch on the Getting Started panel within the Replication Manager console, which is over here on the right-hand side of the screen. Getting Started is really designed for new users to Replication Manager. It's uh, wizard-driven, as is most of Replication Manager, and it's designed to step you new users through the process of registering production and mount hosts, adding replication storage, and creating application sets and replication jobs. I've already done some of the basics of um, registering production hosts and adding storage, so we're going to step right into the process of creating an application set. So I'm going to select the application set, and I'm going to create a new application set, and I'll bring up the application set wizard. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type a name for the application set, and I'm going to call this VMware NFS data stores. And then what I'll do is I'll select the host or the ESX server that has the NFS data stores that I want to create a copy of. Let me expand the screen. And I've selected the data store that I want to replicate. I'll select next and now I've completed the application set and I'm going to go right into the job wizard. That's the application set we just created. Now we're creating a job for it. So I'll give this job a name just like I did for the application set. And I'm going to replicate this on uh, the local Solera LRMC111. And here I'm going to give that job a name. You can see I can uh, create the snap either read only or read write. And I also have the ability to create an expiration either based on a count or based on uh, a number of days. So we'll go to the next screen, and these are where we have our mount options. And I will mount it to uh, an alternate host, an alternate ESX server. And I'll go to the next screen. And here I can either run the job manually or I can create a schedule. I'll show you how to create a schedule. Essentially, it's, the, it's already populated the application set and the job, and I'm going to provide the schedule with a name. I'll call it NFS Data Store Daily. And then I'll pick the frequency for creating this replica on an ongoing basis. I'll add that schedule. And now I'll close out of this screen, and there's the schedule I just added. I'll go to the next screen, and here I could type in an email address if I wanted to be notified if the job were to fail. And I'll just expand my options at the end of the job wizard and confirm my selections. And again, this is Solera NFS. And I'm going to hit Finish. And now we've essentially completed the job wizard, so we've defined what data we want to replicate and how we want to replicate it. So now I'm going to run that job for that application set. And I'm going to fast forward through some of this. Um, and I'm only fast forwarding about 10 or 15 minutes. And it, and it fast forwards very quickly. And there you go. There's the replica we just created with Solera Snapshore, a, a replica of the NFS data store containing virtual machines. And it's as simple as that. Now you're done. Thanks for watching.